What's good, this is Wally, this is Seth Hawk here, and today we're going to be going over the intro to Final Cut Pro, importing and going over the interface. So, what you're going to want to do is buy Final Cut Pro, or you could turn Final Cut Pro using the steps that I showed you in my previous video, but we're going to go ahead and open Final Cut, and if you click here, I don't know what this is, go away. Here is your interface. Over here you have the event library, and this is where your imported videos are going to be. This is your project track. This is where the uh, clips you are editing are going to be. These are all your tools with uh, key commands. And these are some uh, other keys that I don't use that much, except for this one. And coming over here, you can edit the size of the clip, but I'll show you that when we import a clip. Right over here, you have the uh, transform, crop, and distort features when we get a clip. Well, let's actually import a clip so I can show you guys what I am talking about. To import it, we have a test clip right over here, labeled test. It's got a little red dot, so we know. And you could either do file, import, media, go to desktop, and get that. Or... Well, actually, if you have a camera, you can press that button and still get to it. Or we could simply take it, drag it directly onto the tracks, which will add it to the event. Or we could drag it directly to the event, and it will not be added to the tracks. So as you see, I added that to the event. Or maybe I missed. Hold on. Hmm. This worked before. Which actually just gonna drag it in here, and I don't know why it's not up to oh. Right here is gonna be the background tasks, and that is showing that it's actually being imported. This doesn't normally happen, but I guess there was a glitch or something, so that's actually happening. So, as you could X that out. That's just showing you what's going on in the background. We have the clip down here. Let's actually make this full screen again. We have the clip down here, and we could go. Transform, crop. You could crop. We could transform. Flip it. We could even do this. Can't see. And down here we have the zoom adjuster, which zooms how much of a clip you could see at one time, right here, see, at the 10 minute marker, about. And I could zoom it in, and now there is marks at every 15 seconds. If we zoom in all the way, there's marks at every single second. Actually at every half second, so that's, I don't know why you would ever need to be this concise, but if you ever wanted to. There you go. I like to keep it normally about at every minute intervals, but if I'm if I'm doing some serious editing, I might turn it up to every 30 seconds. Or maybe more, depending on the situation. So now these are the edit bars which help you edit. This first one is for balance color, match color, uh, the color board. You could auto enhance audio, match audio, or show audio enhancements. This one is the timing, which allows you to adjust the time. Oh, do I see that? I do not want that. Now over here, these are your effects, audio and video. Camera to add photos. Music. Transitions. And now some of you might not have these transitions, these are what we call, uh, these are kind of like DLC packs that I downloaded, and we will go over how to download these in a future video, but look, these are custom effects that are not in Final Cut by default. Next we have the text boxes, which I actually have a few of those that I got for DLC. Over here we have generators and themes, and I will make a video on each one of those. And over here's the inspector, you can actually turn it off. Done. 
And if you want to open up the inspector, you press these little knobs, I guess. Show inspector. And this lets you to uh, distort certain things. And yeah, so that's basically it, guys. That That's the introduction to Final Cut. The next video should be out either tonight or tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it's going to be tomorrow after school. And that's going to be the introduction to editing. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, chill out for a hot second. Deep fry that like button. It's been Death Hog, And I hope you guys enjoyed the video.